What's up, everybody? Hello and welcome to Not Your Average Meta, an MTG Commander channel dedicated to bringing you decks and commanders you wouldn't normally find in your average meta. This week's video is brought to you by our new channel sponsor, International MTG. If you're looking for competitive pricing on your favorite MTG cards old and new, be sure to check out the International MTG store and TCG player. Link in the description of this video. We'd also like to give a special shout out to one of Not Your Average Meta's generous patrons, Martin Stanley, for everything he's done to help out the channel. On this week's episode of Not Your Average Meta, we're bringing you our last mid-season game before a new season kicks off in January. This week's game features Patrick back again trying to give his Locust God deck another chance to try and shine, Ryan playing his newly built Bant Commander Bernard Ginger Sculptor, Fall Girl playing his legendary Human Typal deck being led by Goldbug Humanity's Ally, and Foil playing his new Mono Red Burn deck featuring Oher Axanel Deepest Might. Now the River Fighters, let's step into the Thunderdome and see which deck will come out on top. Turn 1, Patrick plays a Mountain. Ryan plays a Forest and then pays 1 for a Turn 1 Soul Ring. Fog plays a tapped Idyllic Beachfront while Foil plays a Mountain and passes his turn. Patrick plays an Island for turn and then pays 2 to cast a Goblin Electromancer. Ryan draws and then pays 1 to cast Minion Partings, going into his library to find an Island while he creates a food token. He then plays the Island he found as his land for turn and passes to Fog who plays a Port Town for turn revealing a Plains. Fog then pays 2 and casts a Vehicle side of his commander Goldbug. Foil plays a second Mountain for paying 2 for an Immolation Shaman. Patrick plays a Taps Steam Vents for turn before passing his turn to Ryan who draws and plays a Plains. Ryan then pays 3 and casts Uro, Titan of Nature's Wrath which has him gaining 3 life, drawing a card and playing a second lane for turn. Uro then goes to the graveyard and he passes. Fog plays a Plains for turn, then pays 2 to cast a Flowering of the White Tree before going to combat, swinging his commander over Ryan for 3 commander damage. Foil plays another Mount for turn before then paying 3 to cast Burgi, God of Storytelling. Patrick plays a tapped Highland Lake for turn and then passes turn. Ryan draws and then plays another Forest before paying 6 and casting Bootlegger's Stash. Fog plays another Plains for turn and then pays 4 to cast Boromir, Gondor's Hope. When he enters play, he then looks at the top 6 cards of his library, revealing a human card before bottoming the rest of the cards and putting the revealed card into his hand. Fog then goes to combat once again hitting Ryan for 3 commander damage. Foil plays a 4th Mountain for turn, which allows him to tap out and cast his commander, Ohir Oxenel. Patrick untaps and draws for turn before playing a Riverglide Pathway. He then taps out in order to cast Kyranos, God of Storms. Ryan plays an Exotic Orchard for turn before he then pays 4 in order to enchant his treasure token with a mechanized production. Fog draws for turn before casting Faramir, Prince of Athelion. He then goes to combat swinging Boromir and Goldbug over Ryan, which has Goldbug transforming over to his robot side drawing Fog a card, while Fog then looks at the top 6 cards of his library while Ryan takes his damage and Fog reveals a human to put into his hand. Fog then plays an island for turn and goes to his instep, choosing Foil for his Faramir trigger. Foil plays another mount for turn before paying 1 to enchant his commander with an Aki Warpaint. This then creates him 1 red mana off of Burgi, which he then uses to help him cast an Ogre Head Helm. This then creates him a second red mana, which he uses to help reconfigure his Ogre Head onto his commander. Foil then goes to his instep, which has Fog drawing a card. On his upkeep, Patrick reveals the top card of his library, which is not a land, which allows him to bolt Fog in the face for 3 damage. He then plays a Mount of Return before tapping out in order to cast his commander, the Locust God. Ryan creates a treasure and then plays a Forge for turn before paying 2 to cast a Fauna Shaman. Fog plays an Island for turn and then casts a Frantic Search which has him drawing 2 cards, discarding 2 cards, and untapping 3 of his lands. He then pays 3 and casts a Relic of Legends which has his commander flipping over to the vehicle side. Fog then pays 4 and casts Sally Sparrow before heading to combat. He then swings his commander and Boromir over Foil who blocks with his commander. While Fog draws a card before looking at the top 6 cards of his library, revealing a human which he then puts into his hand. Foil draws for turn and then casts a pair of swift foot boots which has him creating 1 red mana which he then uses to equip his boots to his commander. Foil then pays to cast a ruby medallion getting another red mana before he goes to combat swinging his commander over to Patrick. Patrick then declares no blocks which has him taking 8 commander damage and allows Foil to sack the Ogre Head Helm which allows him to discard his hand and then draw 3 new cards. Foil then plays a land for turn and casts a Magus of the Wheel before passing. On his upkeep, Patrick reveals a land off the top of his library which has him drawing a card. The Zen has him creating 1 insect token while he plays an island for turn. He then pays 6 and casts Niv Miz at the Fire Mine before passing his turn to Ryan who creates another treasure token on his upkeep. Ryan then pays 2 and loses 6 life in order to activate Fauna Shaman's ability, discarding a creature card in order to go get a creature from his library. 
Ryan then reveals an old gnaw bones which he puts into his hand before he then pays a 7 to cast it. Fog plays a plane's return before paying 3 and casting Boromir, Warden of the Tower. He then remembers he's supposed to draw on Ryan's end step before he then pays 3 in order to cast Nils, Discipline Enforcer. The Sin has Goldbug once again transforming into his vehicle side. Fog then ends his turn triggering Nils which has him putting a 1-1 counter on one of his opponent's creatures while he puts a counter on his commander. Foil draws for turn and then pays to cast a magic missile targeting each of his opponents with 1 damage which has him dealing 6 damage because of his commander. He then creates a red mana and uses it to help him activate his Magus of the Wheel. In response, Fog pays to reality shift the old gnaw bones which has Ryan manifesting the top card of his library. He then also taps some of his creatures to help him cast a Peary Brown. After this, each player discards her hand and draws a fresh 7. The Sin has Patrick creating 7 more insect tokens with Foil plays a lane for turn. The Sin has Patrick shooting Ryan for 7 damage. Foil then pays 2 to cast an Arcane Signet which creates him a red mana. He then pays to cast a Sulfuric Vortex, getting another red mana. Foil then pays 2 to cast a Thrill of Possibility, discarding a card in order to draw 2 new cards and get another red mana. He then casts a Shadow Spear in order to get an additional red mana, before finally casting a Grape Shot targeting Fog with a Storm count of 5. In response, Fog flashes in Nyambi a Steam Speaker, which has him bouncing Boromir back to his hand from the field and has him gaining 4 life. He then ends up taking 30 damage from the Grape Shot going down to 5. Finally, Foil pays to equip his commander with the Shadow Spear and passes. On his end step, Patrick pays to cycle a Lonely Sandbar, drawing a card and creating another insect token. He then also deals 1 damage to Foil off his niv Mizzet trigger before he untaps and reveals the top card of his library. He then reveals a land which has him drawing a card and creating 2 more insect tokens and pinging Foil for 2 more damage off his niv Mizzet trigger. Patrick then plays a mount for a turn before paying 4 and casting God Eternal Kefnet. He then also pays to cast Ludwig Necro Alchemist before going to combat, swinging all of his flying creatures over at Foil, taking him down to 16 life. He then pays to draw a card, creating another insect and pinging Foil for 1 more damage. On his upkeep, Ryan takes 7 damage, going down to 1 life before he then pays to transform his morph into a Thought Monitor and then pays another 4 to cast Myrel. Ryan then all Turn 1, Patrick plays a mountain. Ryan plays a force and then pays 1 for a turn 1 Soul Ring. Foil untaps and takes 2 damage from the Vortex before drawing for turn. He then pays to cast a Glintorn Buccaneer creating a red mana before he then uses his ability to go to combat discarding a card, dealing 1 damage to each of his opponents which turns into 7 taking Ryan out of the game. He then draws a card before casting Electric Revelation which has him discarding another card and dealing another 7 to Patrick. He then draws 2 more cards and uses Glintorn's ability to discard another card taking Patrick out of the game. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe in order to see more games and decks you wouldn't normally see in your average meta.